hey on okay welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here so today I'm doing an O-Poly haul as you can see from the title of this video I had so many of you guys request me to do an O-Poly haul and honestly it has been the longest time since I actually shopped on O-Poly I used to get gifted a few bits and bobs on there like a long time ago but I feel like everything's changed since then I feel like they've upped the website they've upped the quality although it seems on the website so yeah I was really intrigued to actually do a little O-Poly shop pick out some bits and obviously show you guys and share with you my experience like I said it's been such a long time I did buy all of this stuff out of my own money I believe I spent around 300 pound maybe we shall see what's good and what's not but yeah I'm gonna jump straight on in and show you what I picked up so if you want to see what I got from O Polly then please continue watching Okay, so first thing to mention, it comes in a really nice O Poly bag, just like a sort of like baby pink colour with a nice O Poly logo. Really like that. Always sort of judge things on the packaging. Um, and then when you open the packaging up, everything actually comes individually wrapped in tissue paper with O Poly on, and they've also stuck like a little O Poly sticker. I really like touches like this. I think it makes a brand seem very high end and expensive. Yeah, first thing I picked up from O Poly was a pair of sort of like tapered trousers. So I actually wanted to pick up the white pair of these but they're out of stock so I may do with the green pair and I'll order the white pair when they come back in stock. But this is what they look like. So they're in this sort of really gorgeous sort of like a mint green colour and like I said they're these sort of like tailored trousers. They've got pockets and um, they are really really nice, really good quality, feel so soft and then they have this gorgeous belt to go around in. Sort of like a um, fabric belt. These have been absolutely everywhere at the moment and like I said the white pair on the website was stunning. They only had these in a size 8 and um, I've already tried them on earlier and they're a little too big but we can't make do but I just know now that when I do order these um, when they're back in stock I will order a 6 and downsize. Um, so yeah my opinion on sizing so far is the true to size but I haven't tried on everything so I will keep you updated but I love those. Honestly I'm just so in love with this packaging like don't it just make you feel like everything's so expensive when it comes wrapped up. Oh, next thing, oh, I'm so excited for these. So, they're these sort of like Dalmatian print, wide leg, sort of paper bag trousers. I absolutely fell in love with this. You guys know I love monochrome. Probably one of my favourite colour palettes to wear. Um, and yeah, when I just saw these, I just knew there was a very bit of me. Did they have a belt with them or not? I thought maybe they did have a belt, um, but I can't actually see one. So yeah, that's okay though because I can use my own belt there, but I absolutely love these. Like I said, they're just this Dalmatian print, wide leg trousers, and they've got this gorgeous sort of high waist paper bag detailing. I got these in a size 6, they do seem very true to size. I am going to include a try on clip and show you what they look like on. And also I just wanted to put a note on their swing tag as well. This is what it looks like. It does look really high end and I really, really like that about Opali. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is actually a top to go with the trousers so if I just sort of grab the trousers I can just quickly show you what it looks like so obviously black top to go with the trousers and it is simply this sort of doubled slinky it's in like a doubled um, slinky fabric ruched little bardo off the shoulder top it's so cute it's sort of like skin tight and I feel like with the trousers being sort of high waist you sort of want quite a tight fit in top to sort of flatter the bottoms I did actually team this with the trousers on the website and it looked stunning so obviously I had to pick it up I got this in a size 6 also and yeah it Again, really, really good quality, and I absolutely love that. I do think I'll probably wear that outfit at the weekend, so I can't wait. Oh, this wasn't the fabric I was expecting in these. So the next thing I picked up was a pair of wide leg trousers, and they're in a ribbed fabric. I don't know what sort of fabric I was expecting in these, but I was sort of expecting like... I don't know, like a really sort of sturdy fabric and then them being a rib, maybe like a bandage fabric. I don't know what fabric I was expecting, but these are basically in a jersey fabric. They're still really nice, but um, yeah, just not what I was expecting. They seem a little bit more casual because they're made in jersey. So they're just these sort of, what colour are these actually? They don't actually say on the thing. I think they're like a brownie colour. You can see like a, a light brown. Um, and yeah, they're just simply these brown wide leg ribbed trousers. They do do these in creamy white colour and I absolutely love those. But again, they were out of stock so I couldn't get them. So I got an alternative colour instead. Again, I just thought these would be really nice for evening. Like teamed with like a new top. 
Um, yeah, just a really, really nice pair of trousers. And I love the fact that they've got pockets in. I always love my wide leg trousers to have pockets on. Next thing I picked up was just this little crop top. It's just got a scoop and neck. It's in a really good quality rib fabric. And it also has this sort of elasticated detail at the bottom. I absolutely love this crop top. I believe it was around the maybe 18, 20 pound mark. But they're so good quality. They honestly work every single penny. I would much rather pay a little bit more for basics and they'd be this good quality than buy cheap things. They just look more expensive when you're wearing them as well. I was thinking that I could team this with these sort of like mint green trousers and they would look absolutely stunning together. So I really, really like that. The next thing I picked up was a bodysuit. I absolutely love a nice body. And this was a ribbed one. Just really caught my eye on the website. It looked really stunning on the model. I got this in a size six. Um, and it's in quite a knitted fabric actually I didn't really expect that I thought it would just be like a similar rib to the last item I showed you however this is in a knitted rib um, which yeah I would prefer it to be in the other fabric just because it seems quite warm to wear but all the same it is really really good quality it actually goes this way I was showing it you the wrong way um, and then it's got like a sort of drop back so I think for bra situation on this you wouldn't be able to wear a bra which is probably a no-go for me um, but all the same I really like this I'm going to style this with something so you can see what it looks like on okay so the next thing I picked up was a dress I really wanted to grab a dress to see what their dress quality is like as I said I did shop at Opoly like a few years ago and their sizing was really tiny so I made sure to upsize in dresses because I know that I used to be sort of like an 8 and 0 poly many years ago and um, so yeah I do think I got this okay I didn't get it in an 8 I got it in a 6 tell a lie I don't know what went on there it does look tiny I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this on but it's this white dress I didn't actually realize it was in a satin fabric I feel like some of their images are a little bit they look like one fabric but they are actually another thing so yeah I didn't actually realize this was in a silk fabric it probably said it somewhere but I didn't read it it didn't look like that in the picture and um, but all the same it's a really just cute sort of little midi dress it's got this really nice sort of um bust detail as well it does have adjustable straps so if they do look a bit long at the moment it's because they aren't altered but yeah again really nice quality dress okay so the next thing i picked up from opali was a jumpsuit i just thought i would try one of their jumpsuits just to get a little bit of variety into this haul and it is i don't even know how this actually goes is it halter neck or is it not? What is going on with that? I think it's halter neck actually. I can't even remember what it looked like on the website. And then it goes in to like really like oversized trousers. Don't know how this is going to look because off the hanger it does look like a big piece of fabric. But yeah, we will see. I guess it did look really pretty on the website. I got it in size 6. Really heavy this is. It's in like viscose but it's like really doubled up. So it is really, really good quality. It's fully lined so that is one positive from this. But yeah, I'm just going to try it on just to show you it better and show you what it looks like. But yeah, I do like this at a first glance. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up from Opoly. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this haul. I definitely feel like I'm going to be shopping on Opoly a little bit more often now because I definitely have been impressed with the little bits that I did pick up. Let me know what you guys think and remember to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Also, if you are new here, please subscribe to me. It would mean the absolute world and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.